Hello children welcome you all in this session In this session we will discuss about the period of Aurangzeb Aurangzeb was the last powerful ruler of the Mughal dynasty He was a man of extraordinary ability strict discipline and led a simple life He was expert in playing veena. He ruled over India for about 49 years. As just said, Aurangzeb was a very hard working and an efficient ruler, but he was criticized because of re-imposition of jizya and pilgrimage tax. on hindus demolition of hindu temples actually unlike akbar aurangzeb did not have faith in any other religion he followed a rigid islamic policy which annoyed the hindus who constituted the main bulk of the society he executed his elder brother dara shiko sambhaji and guru teg bahadur executed means killed he imposed zakat which was a religious tax on muslims aurangzeb believed in the policy of expansion aur isliye unhone apna empire kafi expand kiya from north to south aurangzeb's reign can be divided into two parts early reign which was marked by revolts it was challenged by a home rulers afghan tribes jats and bundelas and the next is later reign he wanted to annex bijapur and golconda in his territory annex means add karna chahte the apni territory mein jodna chahte the so he wanted to add bijapur and golconda in his territory After conquering Bijapur and Golconda, Aurangzeb turned towards the Marathas. He defeated the Maratha king Shambhuji and arrested his son Shahaji. After defeating all his enemies in the Deccan, he felt that he was the undisputed emperor of India. But this was his wrong notion. The Deccan problem paved the way for the decline of the Mughal empire now let us talk about the decline of the Mughal empire ki Mughal samrajya ka patan kaise hua there were many other factors which were responsible for the decline of the Mughal empire his successors were pleasure loving weak and inefficient provincial governors took advantage of the weak government at the center and set up independent kingdoms the wars drained the immense treasures of the mughal treasury which ruined the economy yani ki yuddh mein apar dhan aur shakti nasht hui jisse shahi rajkosh khali ho gaya aur arthvyavastha barbad ho gayi these reasons led to the decline of the mughal empire though later on Aurangzeb realized his mistakes but it was too late. He wrote to one of his sons, "I came alone and am going alone. I have not done well to the country and the people and in the future there is no hope." So children, that's all in this session. Goodbye and thank you.